Well, here's the the second part of of this curse, and of, and the reason why it's so awkward and crazy between guys and girls. And the second part is is really dealing with the curses that God sent that match perfectly the nature of man, and women, and Nate, and 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 the snake, and all that, and their crime, and the way God sends a curse that matches that perfectly. And I just take for example. It was man's duty on this planet to care for it, to keep it, to work it, to guard it. And he failed to do that. This is his very nature. I mean, he named all the animals. He came from the dirt. And so now it was, it was his job to take care of it, but he failed. So God cursed his efforts. And so now everything that he does is sweat and it's blood. And eventually... He dies in his work. Eventually man dies and returns to the dust. That wasn't God's plan. That wasn't what he intended. That's not what he wanted. He wanted mankind to live forever and to work and keep the earth and, and live and thrive under it. But now he dies in it. But the curses aren't just evil. They're not just bad. God designed the curses to lead men and women from the state of sin that they're in now to a state in which they are saved, in a state in which they are redeemed, they're restored, they're, they're made reversed, actually reverse the curses to something that's new and better. And, and we can see that in, um, in, in Genesis 3 when God curses the snake he also tells us how when he destroys Satan, that he will do it by the seed or the son of Eve. And that when he destroys Satan, that he will, he will do that and that his seed or his son will also be bruised. Well, you fast forward thousands of years to the life of Jesus. Jesus destroys Satan on the cross. Destroys him crushes his skulls, crushes his head like Genesis 3 says. But at the same time, Satan bruises the heel of God. Bruises the, the son of man, as Jesus calls himself. Bruises the son, the seed of Eve. Bruises his heel. Because he died. So I want you to see, God cursed mankind. Cursed woman, cursed nature, cursed the snake, but in all those curses, God is planning a redemption. God is planning a better way. And he's planning a way out of the sin and the destruction and the evil. And that's our God. The curses aren't meant to destroy us. The curses weren't meant to, to crush us and to, to make us nothing. To make life meaningless. The curses were actually designed... To show that everything in life that we think is meaningful actually destroys us. That everything that we think for a man, you think your work is everything, it's not. It just leads to death and destruction. So the idea is that God is going to save us through his son Jesus and he's going to pay a super high price for that redemption. So don't think God's some meanie. Don't think he's just some evil guy cursing the world, striking lightning bolts and all that kind of stuff. But know that God is, through even the curses, redeeming all things. That's it. Hope you have a great day.